Met here again today for week five, day five of my 100 kilometer journey. Today is another low exercise day in terms of running. So I'm just doing a five to seven kilometer walk at Billy's Creek. I uh, can't see the creek just yet. Uh, just wanted to get some walking in, some hiking. I know for my 100Ks I'm not going to be able to run the entire thing unless this training goes exceptionally well. So it's important to get some walking in. That and I need to get some steps up for the day. I haven't really done much, I've just been sitting on my ass a little bit. Uh, today's training, other than this walk, is back out at the gym. I need to be doing some core strength exercises and I might do a little bit of a swim as well so I might do uh, some rowing in the gym I'll do some core exercises I might throw a kettlebell around or something uh, see what other exercises I can do for core strength and then I'll go for a swim it's not going to be as long as the other week, or the other day, I should say. And then I'll sit in the sauna for a little bit, just to clean out. And then this afternoon I've got physio with Sarah, so she can uh, massage my legs a bit and get all the kinks out for this weekend's planned long runs. So tomorrow morning I will be doing about 22, 24 kilometers. A good portion of that will be with Mandy from Park Run. We're going to run 12 Ks before the Park Run. I'll do the 5 K Park Run and then I'm gonna just keep running up and back after that or I might do a loop somewhere just to finish off the Ks for the day. And then on Sunday, I'm backing it up with a 16k run somewhere. I might be going out to Ballara and doing a run there with a group of people. See what happens. Uh, anyway, I'll leave this for now. I'll record a little bit later on this video. Bye. I have to admit, today it seemed a little bit more difficult to get up and do something. I think the sooner I can get a job, the better. I've been applying for a fair few. Uh, just need something else to basically get me up of a morning. <laughs> um, I always have enough motivation to get up and do something. Hi um, Cammy, you just messaged my phone. <laughs> but it does come down to the discipline to actually get up and do it, which I've said to a lot of people many times. It's usually the uh, difference between someone that succeeds and someone that fails. Not that I'm putting against anyone. But uh, sometimes you just have to get up and do it. And this is the extra part of my training for today, this walk. I still have to go out to the gym and get my core exercises done. I might have a read of my book, see a good group of core exercises I should do. It does have like uh, day one core exercises for the week and then day two and it has like different combinations um, I think if I can concentrate on that maybe some swimming and just keep doing what I'm doing with the walking and the running it'll be very good 
in the long run. Uh, I was thinking about it and like next year I did have a goal to complete a 100 miler. I'm not sure if that'll be on the books. I'd need to find one in Australia I think to do it or still possibly go over to America but I need to qualify for one of those. Uh, the 100 miler training program has you training for 8 to 12 months so technically if I really wanted to I could finish this training program and that finishes with the Yu Yang's run that I'm going to do and after that it will be well, basically 12 months so as soon as I finish that recover for a little bit and jump straight into that training it's 8 to 12 months I think after this amount of training I'll have a much stronger base for that and it's like when you look at it the recommendations for a 100k or a 100 miler is it says you have to have done like a couple of uh 50k's or whatever or 50 milers if that even for the 50k it says the most you should have done before this point is a uh, maybe one half marathon <laughs> and so it's a big jump but then again it's a big jump from 50 to 100 I'm doubling the distance I've done um, yeah, what's to think about? I'll have to go sweat it out at the gym. Go from there. All right, thanks guys. Uh, I think the next video, the next part of the video, I'll be either at home getting changed or at the gym doing something. Bye. So that's the uh, warm up done. Uh, 1.3 k's on the treadmill and gonna start getting into some kettlebell things uh, planks and a whole heap of other things let's see how this goes Bye. okay done a combination of uh, planks mountain climbers uh, bicycle kicks leg extensions uh, a few other things that I can't remember the name of which probably isn't a good thing uh, yeah, going to do a bit of a row and then head down to the sauna today. Um, didn't book the pool. Uh, I don't want to be too buggered after all this arm work as well. Alright, thanks. Bye. And it's me again. Finished all the core exercises and uh, just bumped into Chris Gallivan here. Good to see you, mate. Uh, yeah, so the way I was doing my core exercises is I was doing it in AB format. So I was doing 30 seconds of one exercise, then doing 30 seconds of another, then go back to 30 seconds of A, and then back to 30 seconds of B. So I was doing combinations like uh, doing a plank for 30 seconds, and then I was doing uh, push-ups for 30 seconds, or I was doing push-ups for 30 seconds, and then some crunches, uh, 30 seconds of swinging the cowbell or cowbell whatever the bell thing is the I'm sure other people that actually go to the gym more than I will know what it is uh, kettlebell kettlebell that sounds better um, yeah and I just did that a fair few times all up I probably did about 10 exercises uh, one of the hardest ones was doing the bicycle legs with my back on the ground and then doing uh, leg lifts. And the other one I was going to do, but I forgot to do, was bridge extensions, like just raising all that stuff, yoga stuff. Uh, just in the sauna now, I'm not sure how long I've been in here for. I'll just get a nice good sweat going and uh, head on home, have a shower, get these videos done. This quality for the end of this is going to be pretty poor because I'm now recording on my phone.
So the video went flat at the end of the uh, last video, or more should I say that the camera or the phone uh, memory storage is full. Uh, so quick top up. Yeah, not much else left to say after the gym. Uh, I have been to the physio. Uh, left calf muscle was incredibly sore. I've been told to uh, foam roll some more, uh, put some heat on it or keep them warm just because there was a lot of work done to my calf muscles. I've told them that I am now training for 100k and I said I'll probably have to come in more often than once every four weeks, uh, which is okay. I've booked another appointment for two weeks time from now and then there'll be another appointment two weeks after that and it'll be good to really keep on top of them. Uh, apart from that guys, it's about all I can think of at this stage to add to this video. Uh, about to make some tea, might have another plate of fruit and just relax. Tomorrow's run is the 19 to 23 Ks and yeah, and then Sunday 13 to 16 Ks. Yes. That sounds good. Alright, have a good night guys. I'll see you tomorrow at Park Run Interrogan.